Hi guys, Sleepyhead Gaming here. It is currently about six o'clock, and welcome to a very special 50k subscriber video. So I'm gonna get up, get dressed, and I'm gonna show you my uh, morning routine. So let's get into it. Right, so I'm equipped with my Redhead Gaming T-shirt, and like a good vlogger, I've already turned the lights on. But we're heading to the kitchen because I uh, can't do anything like most British people. I can't do anything without a cup of tea. So we're flipping doing this. Oh look, it's me in the background. Oh hey me. Well everyone, um, I was going to use my uh, my Redhead Gaming mug for this, but um, it kind of broke. <laughs> This is not going well. <laughs> Okay, so because it took me so long to record that cup of tea footage and managed to break my redhead gaming cup, it is actually light already. <laughs> but we're heading to the studio now, finally. So in we go, this majestic, oh God, in this majestic building. That, uh, that's still very bare, everyone. <laughs> it's not the uh, most exciting room, not yet. So I'm gonna do you a bit of a studio tour because I know that was on the, uh, the poll I did, but I thought I would, uh, you know, I thought I'd include it because it's something I've been wanting to do, something I, I should have done. And yeah, so I'm gonna show you sort of all the equipment I use, green screen, all that type of stuff. And yeah, and there might even be a good old fridge reveal. Those of you who've been with the channel for a while will remember the, uh, we may remember the fridge reveal, but we can get a whole, we can get a whole fridge tour. <laughs> so yeah, right then. So let's do some more B-roll. Okay, so let's talk green screen, shall we? So the green screen I have is a Elgato. I've got an Elgato green screen and it drops from the ceiling, which is very, very handy. I used to have one that sort of stood on the floor. Uh, but the space saving that having one from the ceiling is massive so I would highly recommend because you know I can pull it up if I want to I'm not going to because I've hidden all the mess that I don't want you to see behind there um, <laughs> So yeah, but I would recommend yeah Elgato 100% really really nice It's like a fabric material so the light bounces off it nicely and yeah, so I don't have any problems with this It's the best screen screen I've had um, so yeah, I'd highly recommend that. I'll put the links to everything in the description just so you know what it is. Now, I want to talk about lights as well. So I've got two lights. Let me uh, switch this around. So yes, I've got two lights that shine on the green screen. These are newer lights. Um, a link will be in the description. And these can be RGB. So I can change these to whatever color I want. I have used these for gigs before. So I can, you know, change them to, you know, if I want to set a seem to be a different color this is really useful they have these soft boxes on uh, which make the uh, which basically spread the light out and basically that's what you want when you're doing it when you're using a green screen you want the light to be spread as evenly as possible so this green in the background that you see now is you know you want it to be the same color so when you key it out in uh, OBS or in whatever editing software you've got um, yeah it will be nice and it will move it nicely you'll never get it spot on I don't think unless you're in like a prop studio but yeah, that's what you want to try and aim for. So all of my lights as well, they are on these arms, which I got, which are very useful. These are newer as well. And yeah, this just means I could have them in the air and it means I can move them about. So when I do my, uh, my videos, uh, where I do the channel updates and stuff, it means I can switch these around and they can face on me. They sort of just, I can just pull them out thing and they extend and all that kind of good stuff as well. So there you go, you are never. So yes, so those are the lights and that's the green screen. So let's move over to my desk and then we'll talk about my PC. So we're heading over to my desk and I'm gonna talk you through what's on there, monitors and all that type of stuff. Speaking of which, let's take a look at them. I've got one that is portrait and one that is landscape, which has been really useful. I only recently switched to uh, to portrait and it's really useful for live streams, being able to put a lot on the screen at once. Uh, it's it, it was a little bit tricky getting used to, if I'm honest, uh, but once you give it a go for a while, it, it's it's re it's really uh, it's it's really useful. I, I I do enjoy it quite quite a lot. So the main monitor there, the main one there. 
let's just uh, let's just spin you around. I can't spin the camera around whilst I'm recording, which is very sus, everyone. Very, very sus. So this main one is a, a Zeus rog. I can't remember the rest of the numbers and letters that go after it, but it is a 144 hertz 4K monitor. I don't really use it in 4K that often because my PC can't record in that. Um, but yeah, so this one is my main monitor. Um, it, it's quite a snazzy one, although the uh, part of the sticker came off, which I wasn't happy about. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so we've got this one, that's the landscape. So that's my main monitor, the better monitor. And you can actually see that you can see the colors are quite different between them. So I do want to get both the same, ideally. Uh, and then this one is a 1080p, 60 hertz, and it is a Samsung. So these were just ones that I just had. Um, this one was a bit tricky to balance actually on the uh, on the arm, but yeah. So those are my those are the two I have. Obviously, the main monitor for gaming, you know, wanted that to be the best monitor. You don't necessarily need the same monitors, but you know, it, it obviously looks nicer, doesn't it? So yeah, and uh, yeah. Sometimes I have used a laptop as well in the past, which I might be using at some point. Uh, so yeah. So those are the monitors. Moving over to this bad boy. Moving over to this bad boy. This is my Rogcat Magma keyboard which i got fairly recently what i liked about it was it's a bit different from um it's a bit different from your usual because like it's actually the pad underneath that lights up it's not just the keys and i thought oh that looks pretty cool it wasn't a very expensive keyboard so i wasn't sure what i was expecting but i've had absolutely no problems with this so yeah if you want something cheap but also looks nice definitely take a look at this one um i, I really 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 think it's great now now the mouse, which is looking a bit worse for wear, I apologize everyone. I've had this mouse for a very long time. It is a Corsair Scimitar, which they no longer do. They don't do this model anyway. Um, so yeah, it's got, as you can see, I've worn the buttons out. So these are the three buttons everyone asks. Why is key binding so weird? So one, two, and three. Those are the ones I uh, often use. So yeah, it is a bit worse for wear. I had, I did look at replacing it, but you can't get new ones anymore. Um, so yeah, I might have to uh, have a look to see what a good mouse is. But I just love, I just love the uh, the shape of it. It's just really nice, and just have it. I know, I, I never use half of the buttons. If it only had three buttons on, that would be perfect. Um, but yeah, it is. It's really nice. You've obviously got two here, and yeah, and I like how you can customize how the lights work. So yeah, it's a it's a it's a good one. The mouse mat is also a Corsair one. Um, I can't think of what it was. It was just a just just a basic. Now over here, okay, this is my iPad stand and this is a notebook where I jot down my to-do to -do lists. I did have a Stranger Things one, but I filled it up. Okay, let's move this out of the way. Move, 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 move. Okay, so this is the Logitech. I have no idea what model. I've had these forever, but they are great. They're, again, it was one of those where it, was, it wasn't very expensive. And you kind of, and, and I was a bit like, oh, okay, okay. But I've had them forever. They've had no problems. There's sometimes the, um, the other ones around there, around there with my microphone. So yeah, like I said, the only problem I've really had with it is sometimes the cable in the back comes a little bit loose, but I have stretched the cable to sort of its max. They are quite far apart compared to what they're like supposed to be. Um, so yeah, so sometimes that happens. But apart from that, the sound quality is great. It's more than enough than what I need. I would like to upgrade them, but I don't need to. So yeah, it's more of a want than a need. So yeah, they're very cool. Moving on to the microphone. Um, this is the Samsung G-Track Pro, which I absolutely love. I got this pop filter that I just shoved on the top. It's not, it doesn't come with it, but yeah, I put it on in it. The pop shield basically is for p and b, for P's and B's. Um, so they don't, you know, they don't destroy the microphone. Don't know why human voice P's and B's just wreck microphone. So that's what it's for. It's to prevent, prevent the pops. Um, so yeah, but I really like this. Um, it's I've had it for quite a while now. I uh, there was a YouTuber I saw who had it, and uh, the quality I just really I just really like the quality of the sound. My problem is in here the the sound uh, the acoustics isn't great. I haven't got much soundproofing at the moment. Um, but yeah, one of the things I love about this is this mute button. So I don't have to you know press a keyboard thing. I can literally when I'm streaming or whatever, I just press that if I need to mute. It's very easy, very quick to do. Um, so I really like that. You can also like change the levels of the microphone, uh, which is really, really cool. You can change what type of recording. So you've got like, it's like the figure of a Omni, like you want it recording all around. You want it in Mario, Mario, Do you want it in Mario or two track, all that type of stuff. And it just literally, it's a USB microphone. So 
Easy peasy, it's absolutely great. So down here, we have the very snazzy Elgato that does all the heavy lifting for console recording and stuff. Um, this is the Elgato 4K60S Plus. Yes, it is an absolute mouthful. But this is the one This is one that doesn't go in your PC. So the main ones, you can get the four, I think it's just the 4K60. Um, and basically, they go in like into your PC. But this one is external. And I just thought... I don't know. I got it at the time because it was the 4K, but ironically, it doesn't record in 1440p. After and I realised that after I bought it. But this has been great. It is a bit. Um, it can be a bit fickle. Sometimes it just doesn't work. I have to restart my computer and then it works again. So it's not. It hasn't been the most reliable. It's been okay recently. Uh, but yeah, so I'm looking at probably getting another one. But the advantage of this, you can take it with you. Obviously, you can put an SD card in as well if you want to record that way. Um, so yeah, it's it, it's good. I, I'm probably looking at a different one. But um, but yeah, it was good for what I needed. And like I say, it's it's less weight, less heat in the in my main PC. So that's good. Next to it here, we have, this is, the, this is a um, HDMI switcher. So this is, you know, like when I'm uh, when I'm streaming and I want to switch between Xbox and PlayStation, I just use that remote there and um, I can just switch between it and it just does it automatically. So I've got loads of, here you go, I've got loads of HDMIs around there. Oh, that's the part of the sticker that's missing, by the way. Um, yeah, so there, everything's plugged into that and then that just goes into my monitor. So that's everything that's actually on my desk. So let's talk cameras. I've got my PC and I've got all the consoles as well. So let's have a look at those. So my camera is the Sony A6400, which is a really, really good. I'd highly recommend this camera. It is absolutely great as a webcam because you can plug it into the charger whilst it's recording, whilst it's on. Most cameras don't allow you to do that, so that's a really huge plus. It's really high quality. It's got this flip screen at the back so I can actually like see myself, so it's great if you do vlogs and all that type of stuff. Uh, it's pretty, it's not stupidly expensive, but it is an, ex it is an expensive camera, but it served me really, really well. I want to get another one, to be honest with you. I've used it for recordings, you know, when I've gone out, when I've recorded shows, where I've recorded other things. Um, but yeah, and it's also on this, um, it's also on this Elgato arm, um, which is really, really useful. So it just plonks on there. It's got like this thing at the top, so you can really adjust it to, to however you need. You can get other lenses and stuff for it, but yeah, it's a really, really good one. It looks really nice. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really, yeah, really, really like that camera. Over to the, over to the left. This is the big umbrella. I don't actually know what this is. This is the uh, big umbrella light that I use. This I've had this for a very long time, and I managed to break one of the big bulbs. So that's why there's only one of them. They say so up two. Um, but yes, uh, so that's just an umbrella light. So that's like when just uh, so we've got my green screen back there. And then we've got this light, which sort of fills me in. So that's everything on the desk, as far as I'm aware. Now, this is the bit. <laughs> this is my. Uh, this is my shame, everyone. Are you ready? Are you ready for the worst cable management you've ever seen? Oh Jesus! It's like a spider's web down there. Yeah. So this is one of the things that have been addressed when I'm doing the studio. And also, yeah, my Xbox is the wrong way around because that's the only way it will fit on the shelf. So, yeah, so this is where all the consoles live. I've got a little dock for my Xbox that's got, like, controller chargers, my Switch dock, uh, Wi-Fi router. Everything is back there and it is absolutely atrocious. So before you all scream at me for my horrible cable management, this bit... I'm really excited to show you the PC that got an upgrade earlier this year. Oh, it's down here, everyone. Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's very exciting. Get up to the desk. Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm blocking it. There. There's the PC. Oh, in all its glory. And I've been meaning to make it red and just never got around to doing it. Um, so, yeah, so this is, this is the PC. And this PC is very snazzy, it's not the best. I'm getting some crash issues at the moment, like just random crashes, so there's something wrong with it, but it looks very snazzy. So in here, let me, let's turn around. Oh God, I'm too old for this. Right then, getting up close and personal with this baby. So let's talk about the graphics card. Now my graphics card, I've had, oh, I've had it probably a bit longer than I think now actually so I've got a uh, RTX 2070 super so it's not like super duper good it was kind of one that was kind of more of a moderately priced graphics card at the time 
Um, so yeah, so that's plugged into these very snazzy cables. I, uh, when I was getting it rebuilt and the builder was doing it, I was like, I need it all RGB. Everything can be RGB. Cables can be RGB. Everything. Um, so yeah, so that's the graphics card. The processor is an i7-8700K, which is getting a bit old now. Um, but it's still, it's still rocking. It can still, it can still compete. It's great. I, uh, I don't really have any performance issues with my PC when it comes to like video editing and stuff. I can't run things on like old super ultra if I'm recording and, and sometimes I still can't even if I'm not recording. Um, but yeah, but it's, 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 uh, it's, it's pretty good. It's a pretty moderate build, I'd say. Um, we've also got some very colorful RAM there. It's got 32 gigs of RAM. Um, we've got, this is a Corsair liquid, it's kind of like one of those all-in-one liquid coolers. Um, so it's not water-cooled, but it, it is, but it is, but it isn't. It's like, it's a hybrid kind of thing. So that's all in there. What else is in the PC? It's got a new power supply, I think, what's that say? I think it's an eight, I'm gonna have to look, it's, but I, I it got a new power supply recently. Um, so that's pretty good. And yeah, it's got, uh, that's the water cooler radiator. Then here's all the fans, my biggest fans. <laughs> and uh, and yeah, so that's all the stuff in there really. I don't think there's anything, what am I forgetting? I feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I think that's everything checked off the PC list. Oh yeah, oh yeah, actually no it's not. It's, I've got some of those, can you see that there? That's one of those SSDs that goes straight into your motherboard. I don't know what the motherboard is. It's an Asus, oh there we go. It's an Asus ROG Maximux. Maximus, Maximus X. So yes, that's what it is. So yeah, like I say, I haven't really got any problems with it. Obviously the crashing issue, I do need to look into that, but I'm not really too, yeah, I'm not really looking to upgrade super soon. It will need upgrading at some point. I do want to get a better get graphics card and all that stuff. And I need a little bit more space. I've got a few hard drives in there. Um, so yes, few hard drive, few SSDs. I've also got external hard drives. So the external hard drives, I keep all of my YouTube stuff on there. All of all of the YouTube like recordings and stuff because they're so big. I get through a lot of storage. I've got quite a lot of them. I buy big six terabyte ones, and they last me like a year and a bit. Um, I'll put the links to those. They're, they're just the, the the usual Seagate. Um, so yeah, so I've got two of those in the PC as well. And yeah, that is pretty much it for the studio tour, I think, guys. Um, there's nothing else, really. There's a couple of other things. Another microphone I have is the uh, Wireless Goes. So they are by Rode, and they're the ones that I use in uh, channel updates. So they're the ones like I clip it here, and it picks it up, and I can move around. It's wireless. It's really, really good. They're really, really high quality. Really, really like those, and they're not that expensive either. Um, so yeah, so that's all the stuff in the studio i think that to talk you through so what do we do next now so it is about what time is it it is 25 minutes to 8 or 7 35 for you american folks uh, <laughs> and uh yeah so what we're going to do normally at this time of the day this is where so the reason the reason why i wake up so early is because i'm less interrupted in the morning i've got quite a number of things that i do in the morning before i go to work or before i before i do stuff um, and that's the reason why I get up, up so early and I go to bed, I don't go to bed early. Um, so yeah, so I've got a, I've got a lot of stuff to do. And in this time of the morning, I'll have my cup of tea. I will either, I've been starting recently, yeah, this is kind of the time where I record. So I'm literally, I literally get up sometimes and I record a video. It's also a time I have to reply to comments and stuff. So I do a little bit, do a little bit of that. Um, I've also got, uh, some of you all know I'm a singer. Um, so I, uh, there's a couple of vocal and musical things that I do in the morning as well, which we'll get to do my vocal warm up and I play my piano. Um, so we'll get to those, but yeah, but first let's reply to some comments. Let's do a little bit of, a little bit of worky work and then we'll, uh, we'll head over and do some plinky plonking and some zingy zingy. So yeah, let's, uh, let's see how it goes. All right then, so I've now replied to some comments, done some done some YouTube stuff. So we're gonna head over to the cabin, which is where my piano is located. Uh, it was in the studio for a bit, but I moved it over there and yeah, it will come back over here at some point, but yeah, it's over there for now. I like it, it's in a different room and yeah, it's all, all the exciting. But before we head over there, I've got something very exciting to show you, if you're going this way. Those of you may remember this, 
You're in for a treat. Here we go. Are you ready for this? Here it is, everyone. The full fridge reveal. Oh, it's also a washing machine reveal as well. Look at this. Oh, yeah. LG Super Fridge. We've got... Oh, look at this. We can get iced. We can have it cubed. We can have it crushed. Or we can have water. We can have Express Frizz Wi-Fi. I don't know why the fridge has Wi-Fi, but apparently it does. But watch this. Are you ready? Oh, what's in the fridge? But I don't want to open the fridge. Oh, we can see all the random stuff. There's just random stuff. This is like, this isn't the main fridge. Um, <laughs> so yes, the fridge reveal. The fridge also has a freezer. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, it's cold. Look at all them. Look at them ice cubes. Oh my goodness, all them ice cubes. So yes, I thought I'd treat you to a little, little extra fridge reveal before. Oh no, once I open the fridge, actually, it's the full fridge. Ooh, the fridge. Ooh, orange squash. Ooh, look at Okay, I thought I'd treat you to that before we head over to the piano. So let's flip in, go and do some plinky plonking. So we're making our way to the cabin, to the piano. We've got a we've got a little bit of a walk. It's a really sunny day. I mean, we've had absolutely, we've had flooding. We've had so much rain in the UK, which is just the usual, but like even more than usual. So yeah, we're heading down, doing a little bit of a, a walk. The house has got a lot of scaffolding on at the moment. Um, we, had the, we had some leaky chimneys. Okay, we are finally here after many years of journeying. Okay, here we go. Opening the door, here we go. Oh, here it is. Oh, and it looks like somebody's already been in here and turned it all on for me. Oh, it's just magical. It's as if it's as if it's been planned. Ooh, this is the Nord Piano 4, everyone. This is very snazzy. And of course, I had to get it in red. And yeah, I uh, I enjoy this very much. So we're gonna do a bit of plinky plonky in. I usually do about half an hour in the morning. That's all I usually get time for. I would like to, I should practice more, I need to practice more because I am performing in a pantomime. Well, I'm not performing in the pantomime, I'm going to be in the band for the pantomime, so I'm going to be playing lots of songs. So we've got to, we've got to do lots of, uh, lots of practicing right now. Now that I've done some plinky plonking, some piano playing, we're going to head back over to the studio and it's time for me to do my vocal warm up. So, yeah, we're doing all the musical things today. Uh, and then we've got some, then I've got some video stuff to do. Then we're going to go out somewhere for lunch together. Oh, it's going to be lovely. It's going to be glorious. Then we've got to get some snacks because today is the five hour 50k live stream and I can't do five hour live stream without snacks so you know that's that's a necessity so got lots of fun things planned today so yeah hope you've enjoyed so far lots more to come let's do this okay we're back in the studio now so it's time to do some vocal warm-ups and I just realized that uh, <laughs> that my vocal warm-up playlist is on my phone that I'm using to record on so that's a bit awkward isn't it so uh, I've been doing a vocal program called mastering mix by Brett Manning for a number of uh, for a number of years uh it's basically it's singing you've got your high voice which is called head voice which is like oh, all of that and you've got your low voice which is chest voice and then basically mix is somewhere in the middle mix is basically the 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 trickiest part of the voice so essentially i've been doing a program to try and like help do that and uh i've been doing it for ages now if i'm honest and um yeah so that's been developed pretty nicely but i do a, a, a morning warm every every day that i can uh, if I don't do anything else singing wise, I always try and do that because you know got to keep got to keep that voice in tip top condition, especially when I'm you know when I'm doing streams when I'm talking a lot in videos. So you know I you know I talk for hours on end, or if I'm singing. So you know uh, it, it helps both it helps both sides of things really. Um, 
So yeah, that's essentially what I do. So basically for half an hour, you get to me make, listen to me uh, do random noises. Uh, so there's stuff like lip rolls, all that type of stuff. There's like, uh, all lovely sounds and kee, 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 goo, goo, goo. So we get to do that. So I'm not gonna put you, I'm gonna do a little little montage of that. It's not gonna be to my tracks that they normally are. <laughs> but yeah, you get to watch me be a weirdo for half an hour. And that's 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 the fun part of vocal warmers. After you've done them for a while, they don't seem weird to you, but I'm pretty sure they're pretty weird. So yeah, we get to do that for half an hour. Uh, then I've got some videos to do, and then we are going to head off to Mackie D's. Mackie D's for lunch! Woo! So now that you've watched me embarrass myself, it's time to actually do some work. So yeah, it is now <laughs> nearly 11 o'clock. This doesn't normally take this long. Honestly, this vlogging stuff is much more difficult than you think, peeps. The amount of times I'm about to re-record stuff, you wouldn't believe. And um, so yeah, I'm just gonna do some editing now and then it will probably be lunchtime by the time I've done some of that. Uh, and then yeah, we're gonna make our trip to McDonald's. <laughs> Right then, so I've done a bit of work and now it's time for McDonald's. I'm very excited. So we are heading to McDonald's and the car, it's about, it's about a 10 minute drive to McDonald's. And then we're also gonna get snacks for the live stream yet later because that's very important indeed. It's a little bit chilly, so I've put a, uh, a hoodie and a waterproof on. So yes, we are heading to the car and I'm hoping it opens with my car, with my hand, with my, with my phone in my hand, that's what I meant. Okay, in the car we go. We probably should do. We need to do a tour of the uh, the redhead Tesla, but yes, we'll do that at some other point. So we're heading to McDonald's, but I'm not going into McDonald's and and speaking to my phone because I ain't got those I ain't got those levels of confidence, peeps. I'm not one of these people who can just I'm just going to go around Tesco with my phone because yeah, I don't know. I just you know put me on the stage, I'm absolutely fine. Put me on the stage, I'll do whatever you like, but. Out in public, no, I don't have that confidence. So <laughs> we're gonna do a McDonald's walkthrough in the car. Right then, we've arrived at McDonald's. I'm starving, so I cannot wait for this. The drive-through queue is a bit long, so uh, I'm gonna head on in. So I wanna go get all the foods and I'll be back and we can have a, a little tour of my McDonald's. <laughs> I'm such a loser. Right, we're back with the McDonald's. I decided to be a bit adventurous and go with some new stuff. So we have the Philly cheese stack which could be very nice indeed. And we've got some chili cheese bites. So we've got all the cheese today and we just got some chips and a regular Coke. So I'm gonna enjoy all of these and I'm gonna give you a review after I've eaten them because, oh my goodness, oh, that looks so good. Ooh, well, 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 wasn't that a treat? Okay, so my review, the chili cheese bites, they were pretty marvelous, I'm not gonna lie. It was kind of, it wasn't like the normal cheese bites. In the middle, it was like gooey, gooey cheese sauce so that kind of like popped in your mouth oh, oh it was lovely and the uh and the rich tomato ketchup sauce that 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 went really nice with that now the philly cheese stack that was okay that was okay there was like normal cheese on it but then they also put cheese sauce on it so the cheese sauce kind of just took over the flavor there was like some like crispy caramelized onions on there but uh, you couldn't really taste them, unfortunately. So, you know, in my prefer, in my professional McDonald's connoisseur point of view, in my opinion, um, that was just okay. Then we just had chips. You know, can't really go wrong with them. They were warm. They were fine. And then we've still just got my uh, my regular coke. Now I need to go back in because this is part of my plan. Don't get your McFlurry at the same time as the rest of your meal because it'll just melt by the time you've eaten the rest of your meal. Warm outside, it's gonna go, it's gonna go mushy, it's gonna go horrible. So you need to be tactical about this. So you need to go get your food first, eat it, and then go back in or reorder and then get your McFlurry. That's how you do it. And if it's a warm day, you got no chance with the McFlurry. So that's the only way, that is the only way. So I'm going back in and I'm getting that toffee apple Twix McFlurry or whatever it's called. So yeah, 
let's go and taste that and I'll give you another review. Let's flip and do it. Right, okay, here it is. It looks pretty nice, looks pretty nice. Service was very fast, I got it very quick, so points for that. But minus points that it's not in its proper Twix tub, so, you know. Um, but yeah, let's see how the taste test holds up, shall we? All right, the review is in for the McFlurry. Now, <clears throat> let's start with the McFlurry as a whole. Now, you know, as a McFlurry in general, it was a very good McFlurry. Well, it had, it had good and bad bits. Now, the consistency of the ice cream, <laughs> the consistency of the ice cream was very good. I've got to say, a lot of McFlurries, they're sometimes a bit runny. But that was spot on. So, big point for that. However, a lot of the sauce went to the bottom. So, at the end, I was kind of eating a lot of sauce and not much ice cream. So, uh, that was okay. <laughs> now, the flavour of the toffee apple twi Twix. Uh, uh, I wasn't too keen. They, oh God, pardon me. I wasn't too keen on the taste. They got the toffee apple properly they did that really well so it did taste like apple and you had the toffee sauce in there but uh, for me personally just compared to the m&ms one as well i just think it just wasn't wasn't me i'm not not really like a fruit dessert kind of guy you know i'll have a fruit salad like fruit salad, but as in like a a fruit pie or you know i want i prefer chocolate um so yeah so it, it was good I, I wouldn't be in a rush to have it again I'm going to be honest, um, so I wouldn't go for it again. But it, we, we tried something new and it was still it was still okay. It was still enjoyable, you know. I didn't I didn't go, Bleh. it was all horrible. So I enjoyed that. Right then, so that's it for McDonald's. I'm now going to head over to Tesco because I'm going to get some snacks for the live stream. But again, I'm just going to head on in there and I'll probably join you when I'm back home and I'll go through with all the snacks that I've... Uh, that I've brought and then after that I've got a bit of prep to do for the live stream so I'll probably not put that in this vlog and then yeah I think I'll probably join you a few minutes maybe even like a, a minute before the uh, before the stream starts. So everyone I've just got back to the studio and there's been a little surprise left for me look at this oh let me show you this everyone look are you ready Ooh, look at this <laughs> My mum's made me a 50k cake. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. She said she rushed to do this about 10 minutes whilst we were doing the McDonald's uh, adventure. Look at this. Oh, isn't this nice? She's got, it's got one of those big, big candle things that like explode and everything. So yeah, ah, oh. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, it's so cool, it's even got the logo on and everything. Oh yes. What a way to celebrate 50k, everyone. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, I just love it. She's so good. So, yes, yeah, so we've got the cake. But I've also got, I was also supposed to be showing you what snacks I got. So, let me show you. Here we go down here. So, snack number one. I've got some chocolate snacks. I didn't go too crazy. I got some Maltesers. You know, quite like uh, quite like some Maltesers. So, we got those. We've also got... Let me see. I'll put these all on the floor, stupidly. We've also got some Fruitellas. I like Fruitellas. I'm a... I'm a big fruit teller fan, particularly the strawberry ones, but I thought it would be a bit adventurous. These are kind of like, like bigger ones, so, you know, they're kind of kind of juicy and, and nicey and nice. And then we've also got one of my personal favourites, fizzy strawberry laces from Tesco's. Oh, yes, these are these are the bad boys. Oh, I like these very much. So, I only got one packet. These used to be three for a pound. Now they're one for 75p. What is this? That's just disgusting, Tesco. Disgusting. And then finally, the drinks-wise... A bit boring, I know, but I got Pepsi, some Pepsi, and we can have some ice cubes with it, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be very fun. So, yes, yeah, so that's what we got. So, that is, uh, yeah. So basically, we are around. What time is it? We are around an hour and forty-five minutes from the stream. So, I'm gonna get myself all sorted. Probably gonna have a shower. Uh, gotta make sure all the stuff, all the streamy stuffs, all set up to go. Probably have a little bit of a chill. Might have a little nap. I'm an old man, <laughs> and uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, you're gonna, I'm gonna, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna uh, probably do a little clip just before the stream starts. Cause oh, I like to live on the edge like that. Uh, so yeah, so I, uh, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit, and then yeah, I'll see you in the stream as well. Very excited for the stream. So yeah, okay, talk to y'all later. Bye bye. Right then, the stream is about to start. Look at that. Less than two minutes to go, and I thought I'd do a little clip. I'm all refreshed and ready to go. I'm super excited for this. So I'll see you guys out there. Thank you so so much for 50k subs. 
cannot wait for what the future holds. Let's go to BFN up first, then some Garden Warfare 2, and then loads more of the stuff. Let's go. See you out there, peeps. Bye. Well, I have just finished the five hour live stream. It was a blast. We had some nightmares. Oh my goodness. The stream not working on YouTube and having to stream most of it on Discord. Uh, I will be putting it up as a VOD. Um, so yeah, but yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. I had a really, really good time. It did not seem like five hours. Like, oh, it was so good revisiting all the games. Thank you to the mods and everybody for joining in and uh, you know, and chatting and yeah, it was really nice. It actually turned out like nice of being able to sort of like experience it more with you guys. So yeah, thank you once again for 50,000 subscribers. It's been crazy. Like uh, maybe one day we'll be celebrating 100K and uh, who knows what I've got to do for that. I mean, I've done a lot of stuff for this. So yeah, I've got to think about something good. Maybe we'll actually get the proper studio tour when it's actually done. Uh, so yeah guys, thank you so much for joining me for this. I know I don't really do vlogs, so I apologize if it's not quite as vloggy as it's supposed to be, but it's been fun. We've had some good moments and yeah, I, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you all guys, but yeah, but yeah, I'll talk to you all soon. Thank you so much. As always, remember to like and subscribe and I shall see you in the next one. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.